Well, hello again. Yesterday we talked um, about the fact that God is on the move and that uh, what we want to do is join him in his mission. But one of, the, uh, one of the words in the title of this pillar is that we would passionately engage with the mission of the Holy Spirit. And, and I want to talk about this word passion. Often we think of passion as this exuberance, this emotional sort of excitement um, that people bring to the table about what they're doing. And there's an awful lot of talk and an awful lot of stuff out there um, that says that people should act passionately. And what we're looking for is passionate people. Well, I think that one of the greatest examples of passion was Jesus. And Jesus actually uh, went to the cross and all of his mission here on earth was done passionately. In fact, uh, the Catholic Church still calls it the passion of the Christ, which is the last hours of Jesus uh, when he went from Pilate's, the trial with Pilate, until he dies on the cross. Well, passion in Latin simply means to suffer. And so this is where we get this word from. And through the Romantic period, we understood passion as this romantic passion. That it, it just, you were so passionate, it hurt. Well, I've come to define passion just a little bit differently. And, I, and as I looked at Jesus' life and, and the way that he operated and even ultimately going to a cross and dying for us, this is his passion. That it was a value-based resolve to see his mission through to completion. And so when Jesus acts passionately, it's not just emotional exuberance. It's not just the pain of how he feels about it, but he's resolved to see it through. The other thing about Jesus when he moves through his passion is that it's based on value. It's because he loved the whole world. He loved you and he loved me. And so that's what motivated him to his mission. And the third thing is Jesus understood his mission clearly. It wasn't a vague thing. It wasn't something he sort of went with the flow or reacted to something in his life, but he clearly understood what the objective was. And then fourthly, Jesus never let go. He saw it done. Once Jesus knew what he was doing, he didn't stop until he declared on a cross, it is finished. And so as you think through the mission of engaging with of the Holy Spirit, think through how you would do that passionately that you would, it would be a value-based resolve to see a mission complete. Until next time, I'll see you tomorrow.